yes, next on the line, I think I'm gonna do one or two more and then I'm gonna take a nap again because I feel very, very tired, but... Mm. <sighs> Anywho. Uh, Desorzi, De is that how you say your name? Desorzi with Luna Park. I cannot say he's very cute. <laughs> I was start looking and be like, wow, this man is adorable. I love your eyes, the lips, the jawline, your hair. I'm going to say, ooh, man, you're a very attractive man. <sighs> oh, this is going <sighs> to, yeah, it's very cute. So anyway, let's see Luna Park. Oh, hi. He's very cute, though. Oh, very radio friendly. Okay. Very Benjamin Idioso. Felix Sandman. I got that vibe, but the Serbia version. A very radio pop friendly song already. Okay. How is wait? Wait, why is this so low on the odds? This should be way higher up. This, I mean, this this is the thing with the Eurovision World Outcome polls. The lower the number gets, you all you automatically think, oh, the song is bad. This is not bad. I will actually rank this song a little bit higher up on the list. Should this could have been easier top five song so far? Great start. I mean, this is a very, you know, radio-friendly, easy, listenable pop song. And he has a great voice. He has a great voice. I th yeah, I gotta say, this is a very nice song. A very nice song. I think of all the male singers so far, this is the best song by a male contestant in this Eurovision race for Serbia. So underrated. I mean, I really enjoyed this song. This song of, um, yeah, so far, yeah, I think this song should be way higher up on the list. Uh, I could, I would not be mad if they actually send this one. This is a very easy, be easy, listenable, radio pop friendly song with a good staging. And I will, I, I hope they add a band behind him when he performs. So I'm gonna say this is not bad at all. So. Thank you. 